the northern leaders and our rulers are living in a world of their own. And they think there is no, you know, they, they feel that there is no much, uh, you know, uh, uh, agitation or there's no much rejection of this proposed regulation or censorship. It would shock them, like we say. It would take them by surprise. See, you know, you are trying to gag the voice of pe people who have collectively given you their mandate and entrusted you into public office. And then you're saying that the biggest... Uh, the biggest concern for you is to stiffen their voice. It would really shock them um, when it hits them that you know young people, particularly young people from their region, would not accept this. You know, mischief makers would definitely cash in on this, and you know you have people around them who are sacrifants who tell them that they are the best thing that have happened to Nigeria after Jollof rice. It would really you, shock them. What and do you think, think will happen they if they go ahead? What do I think would happen? If they proceed, well, yes. If they proceed, what do I think would happen? Citizens mm -hmm. would rise. You know, yes, a couple of weeks ago, we saw how young people united and organized themselves peacefully under the NSAS protest. That is the tip of the iceberg. If they, if they go ahead and try to gag social media and, the, and still put in the voice of citizens, then citizens would rise. Because again, before you form a government, it is the citizen that actually form the government. Legitimacy it's in the hands of the citizen. And if they continue, citizen would take back that legitimacy. And then hopefully we would not have rulers who would put Nigeria in chaos. I believe that young people are relatively and generally peaceful and they will continue to undertake their role as active citizens peacefully, but then they should not be pushed to the wall because right now it's about survival and even with the impact of COVID-19. So you can't come with a policy that guards the voice. Rather, come with a policy that guarantees quality lifestyle, access to healthcare, you know, access to employment and jobs, sustainable jobs and decent jobs, and economic growth. You know, let's grow the GDP. Let's make Nigeria proud, rather than discussing social media. Other countries are talking about focusing on, you know, the big data company, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, but you are focusing on your citizen to shut them up. Who does that?